And at the age of 37, I woke up one morning and I had a major hemorrhage happening in the left hemisphere. This is so cool, I'm having a stroke. How many brain scientists have the opportunity to study their own brain from the inside out? I didn't know where I began and where I ended. Jill Multi Taylor died that day. I'm not on the clock, I'm lost in the flow. I've got this excitement. This is the beauty of being alive. I am Dr. Jill Bolte-Taylor. I'm a neuroanatomist and the author of My Stroke of Insight and Whole Brain Living. When we look at the human brain, it has emotional tissue in the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere, and it has thinking tissue in both the right hemisphere and in the left hemisphere. So we end up with these four very specific groups of cells, modules of cells, that result in very specific skill sets, resulting in very specific personalities that we all exhibit. So we have left thinking, that is structured and organized, and it's what we call our rational thinking brain. It categorizes and organizes. It has language, the ability to create sound, and then another group of cells places meaning on top of that. I know when I'm being analytical and I'm being structured and organized and I'm planning things for the future, or I'm counting one plus one equals two, I know that that's my left thinking portion of my brain. The left emotional part of our brain given us the ability to remember things from our past or to project ideas into the future. Now with that, I can create an individuation as well as the linearity across time. And now because I have linearity across time, I can learn from my past experiences. The right emotional part of my brain is then how does it feel to be in my body in the present moment? What does it feel like when I dive into the water and I feel the pressure push against my body? What does it feel like to feel water as wet? I'm not on the clock, I'm lost in the flow, I've got this excitement and I have a, a level of curiosity. And then my right thinking tissue is simply the consciousness of me, big as the universe, connected to all that is, and this immense sense of gratitude that I exist at all. Oh my gosh, I'm alive. We are living creatures made up of these magnificent cells, and there's an awe and a wonder in this deep sense of gratitude. And so I was teaching and performing research at Harvard Medical School, and at the age of 37, I woke up one morning and I had a major hemorrhage happening in the left hemisphere of my brain. My brain says, oh my gosh, I'm having a stroke, I'm having a stroke. And then another part of my brain is saying, wow, this is so cool, I'm having a stroke. How many brain scientists have the opportunity to study their own brain from the inside out like this? And then when I awoke later that afternoon, the left hemisphere was completely shut down. I no longer had me the individual. I didn't know where I began and where I ended. Jill Bolte Taylor died that day. And I was literally laying in this bed and felt like a ton of lead in the present moment. And when you're in the right here, right now, and you have this expansive openness, big as the universe experience, then you see how everything is, is interrelated and energy energetically impacted. So what the stroke gave me was this new introduction to the depth of these emotions. My sadness, my grief, grief is, is a whole body, whole envelopment and, and it takes you to your knees and it takes you to the floor and you just flood with this incredible emotion and wow, I feel this because I loved. This is the beauty of being alive. The emotions, the power of the emotions are so beautiful, so rich, so everything, that without them, we would be one plus one equals two, and who really cares? It took eight years for me to completely recover all function. I think the first thing we need to do is be willing and open to explore what's going on inside of our own head. Get to know who you are. Get to know your four characters. Get to know how they engage in your life.
Once you start realizing the four different characters inside of yourself and being able to recognize those in others, you can't not see it anymore. And once you understand it, it's like, I have so much more power over what's going on inside of my brain than anybody ever taught me. And to me, that's personal freedom, to be able to know I have the power to choose moment by moment who and how I want to be, regardless of my external circumstance. If we are hooked into the emotional part of our left hemisphere that clamps me down and I become constricted, and I can fuel that by sharing those biases with those whom I am familiar with, then we all become more constricted. We all become more we versus they, yet we have the capacity to say, I am a part of a magnificent collective whole in relationship to a magnificent world. And as we engage with the world in a healthier way, the world becomes healthier. And it's a wonderful, wonderful way of being.